Heights this morning. Tampa police tell us there was a deadly shooting in Seminole Heights, very close to where those three people were killed just a month ago. Jenny Dean is live right now with the latest. Jenny? Yeah, Rob, you know, this is definitely a very busy scene right now. There are lots of Tampa police uh, all around the area here. The mayor is here. The chief of police is here. And I am with the spokesperson for the Tampa Police Department, Steve Hegarty, to get the latest. And what can you tell us about what happened here early this morning? Okay, at about 4.51, we got a call of uh, uh, shots fired. One of our sergeants appeared on the scene within about a minute. Um, so we're on Nebraska, north of Caracas, and and south of wilder we have an adult male whose body is in the road appears to be gunshot wounds um we don't know if it's related to the earlier uh killings we had three as you know uh, roughly a month ago but we're treating it as if it is and I, the side streets i mean even when we tried to get here it was uh quite difficult you have officers stationed at side streets within about what a mile parameter just to check and see and check people going through yeah the perimeter that we've set up right now is from new orleans to the south up to hillsborough you're not going to be able to drive down here so find another route also over to 15th and now over here to nebraska we're asking people who live in that area you know they're all getting out there thinking about going to work going to school just sit tight for right now we've got a lot of people um on the scene who are, who are we have dogs out we have the helicopter out we want everybody to just sit tight for right now um if police, people see a police car on their street and they're in the Seminole Heights area, safe to assume they probably need to just stay inside and wait until they get the all clear. Yeah, we have officers all over the area that I just described to yeah. you. And as I said, we want to talk to as many people as we can. Um, we don't think that whoever did this has gone very far at this point. So we want to talk to some people, see what they've seen. And if everybody could just sit tight for a little while, that would be helpful. Should we, will we be hearing from the mayor and the chief at some point today, you expect? At some point, yeah, absolutely. Right now they're trying to figure out what happened, so I'm, I'm giving you as much information <laughs> as I can. It's very early on in the investigation. Yeah. Like I said, can't say for sure that it's related. We're treating it as if it is related. Yes, definitely, uh, definitely a massive police presence here this morning in Seminole Heights. They are taking this very seriously. We're going to be out here all day following this. Of course, you can follow us online on 10 News and our 10 News app, and we're going to be keeping you updated every step of the way.